Every analog phone since the early 90s has had a redial button. It's the most basic function for it to just remember the last 10 digits or so that have been dialed and just play them back. But on the Nortel system, it's a little bit more complicated. On the Northstar system, there's two different redials, and neither one of them does what you'd think. The one that's the closest to like what you're used to is called last number redial, and that's feature 5. So let's say we pick up line 1 and dial 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and hang up. If we press feature 5, it will pick up line 1 and press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Exactly what you'd probably expect. Couple things. Let's say we pick up the intercom line and dial 306. Montel answers, we have a conversation, hang up. What do you think is going to happen when I press feature 5? It's going to pick up line 1 and dial 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Last number redial does not apply to intercom calls, it does not apply to transfers, it does not apply to anything that is not picking up a line and dialing a number. Next thing about last number redial, let's say someone else is using line 1 over here, and I decide I want to tie a last number redial. It says it's in use because it will attempt to use the same line, regardless of how you got that line. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that, because it doesn't just save the line that you used, it saves the line method that you used. So for example, let's say I dial 660, which is our external access code, and I wind up on line 2. And now I dial 800 all fours. I have a conversation, and then I hang up. Shut up. Now let's say someone else happens to be using line 2. What do you think is going to happen when I press feature 5? You think it's going to say in use, right? Except it's not, because it remembered the fact that I used line pool A, which means that I dialed 660, which is our external... Shut the fuck up! So that's exactly what happened, and it remembered that, even though, you know, even though, by the time I dialed the number, I was already on line 2. So, uh, it remembers. The other redial is saved number redial, and that's feature 6-7, and the way that that works is that when you make a call, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can press feature 6-7, and it saves the number that you just dialed. Later on, when you're not on a call, you press feature 6-7, it picks up the same line and dials the same number. It works the same way, other than instead of using the last number that was called, it uses the one that was called the last time the feature was used. Interesting, right? If you pick up a line and dial feature 6-7 without dialing a number, it's almost as if you didn't pick up the line. It will just dial the last number on that line. Get it? So let's say I pick up line 2, I dial all 5s, and I press feature 6-7. If I don't pick up any line... It'll pick up the same line and dial the same number. If I pick up a different line, it will just dial the same number. And if I pick up a line, dial a number, and then do it, it has now saved that number. So those are the three different avenues of feature 6-7. Next up is paging. What is paging? So this is an interesting thing because a lot of people would refer to this as, as the intercom. But the intercom is not the intercom. Let's explain where these terms came from. Normally, when you think of an intercom, you might think of two different things. You might think of a two-way intercom, where let's say someone on floor one is talking to someone on floor two through like a buzzer in the wall. Okay. The other reason why you might think of intercom is like someone's being paged over the intercom, as in public address system. Back in the day, telephones were simple. They were simply wired to one line. But as business needs grew, telephones needed to operate on more and more lines. So they had keys. This key went to this line, this key went to this line, and this key went to this line. You press this key, these two popped up, you press this one, that one popped up, you press that one, that one popped up. You had a hold button for when you needed to not be on any line. Well, every so often, organizations had multiple phones arranged like so and they wanted to be able to call between each other they wanted a line to talk to each other on that wasn't an outside line and thus the intercom key was born and that's the reason why today on the North Star system which is considered a KSU a key system unit a system where the phones have keys that correspond to the lines Intra-system calls go over the intercom button with the intercom dial tone. Don't think of it like a PBX where that's your only option and you're dialing external access codes to get out of that. Think of it like 
this is the line that you're supposed to normally use. This is the line you're supposed to normally use. And the intercom thing is just the thing you use when you want to call another extension in your office. So that's why it's called the intercom key. Not to be confused with an intercom like a public address system. This is what Northstar calls paging. Think about a retail grocery store. You want to be able to pick up the phone, the same phone that you use to take incoming calls, and say, clean up aisle 10, clean up aisle 10. And it's that simple. How does this work? Feature codes, feature codes, feature codes. Here's how we do it. This is how we do it. Northstar has two types of paging, internal and external, and you can also do both at the same time. Internal means that the voice is coming out of the speakers on the phones, like this. Test. External means that it's coming out of some other system. The phone system has an output that can be fed into an amplifier, a PA system, whatever, and you can do an external page, blah, 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 attention shoppers, whatever. And you can do both at the same time for stores that have, you know, office areas with phones and large warehouse areas that need an external amplifier. What did he do? Paging is accomplished using feature 6.0. When you press feature 6.0, you get a choice. Sets, speaker, or both. If you press speaker, you're basically connected to the paging system, and anything you say is sent to the output on the back of the phone system that's meant to go to a paging system. You can also press DTMF, and that's also sent out the analog port. The reason for that is that sometimes uh, digits can be used to trigger external systems to turn lights on, turn lights off, whatever. Sometimes paging systems uh, require input before they get enabled, you know, for external systems that support many, many paging zones or other things that require digits. Um, if you do feature 6.0 and you choose sets, you're asked to choose a zone or you can press all. Page zones are groups of phones that receive the broadcast page. You can set a phone to be part of any one of four zones, and when you make a page, you choose which zone you want to page or you can choose all. <coughs> Jesus Christ, that's not good. Alright, so eight months later and we're going to continue to talk on paging. So as you, as you saw back then, feature 6.0 was page general and it asks you for set speaker or both. And basically, you, uh, start a page after you pick a zone. Now, that was ridiculously echoey because the delay between the IP sets and the normal sets kind of makes uh, this lag, and, and it's certainly different to, uh, to hear that echo in a mixed environment than it is in a purely TDM environment. For most of my life, I've been very familiar with hearing the lag, hearing the delay of, of the sound coming through, because if, if you are in a store where you're paging, you're most likely near, within earshot of some other phone. I mean, if you're, if you're in a system where paging, it, it makes sense, it, it generally means that, so, that someone is always within earshot of a phone, or, or a speaker on the external system. So it generally means that when you're paging, you're, you're somewhere near a phone. I mean, you may not be, but on a sales floor or in a factory, you probably are. And, and while the Nortel system is ridiculously bad at, at, at stopping feedback, um, the, the, the page tone has never been an issue because it, it, it happens all at the same time. And um, while the page tone does happen simultaneous with the page opening, so in other words, I don't have to wait for the tone to end before people hear me, um, it isn't an issue. Be it isn't normally an issue because it happens simultaneously and there's very little delay on the system, so it doesn't, it doesn't decay and repeat upon itself like it does in this particular environment where, where it very audibly, if I make the page from here, has that tapery ambient reverberation to it, so uh, that's always interesting. It always it always makes it sound a little bit more authentic when we have that echoey, you know, so um, back to what I was saying. Uh, feature 6.0 lets you choose uh, your, your choice and then your, your page zone, but there's some shortcuts. Feature 6.1 basically is just internal. It's, it's, it's the same as doing feature 6.0 and then hitting sets. And then I basically pick my zone. I'll pick zone 3, which is another room, so it doesn't bother me in here. And basically just says paging 3, and you're on the phone with paging 3. If someone else tries to page, they could page a different zone, so I could page zone 2, and now I'm paging a different room. But I could not page zone 3. If I try to page zone 3, I get paging as busy. Or if I try to page zone all, paging is busy. Um, so... So the zones are kind of isolated, but uh, if you try to use the zone, you try to send all, or you try to use the speaker, and someone's using the speaker, and you can't do that. Feature 6.2 is a shortcut for just the external speaker. And I don't have an external speaker, but if we listen, if we turn the vaporwave off and we listen really carefully, you might hear a click on the phone system up there. Let me go ahead and program this key. So we can, maybe this will help. If you can hear that click, that's the, uh, the relay. Uh, one of the relays in the phone system. The phone system is 
all in software, completely software. And, and even on the uh, the older systems and on BCM systems, it's all software based. It's all solid state. But there are some relays for a couple different things. There's an external relay, uh, an external relay, an external ringer relay, and an external uh, and a page relay that basically are used for signaling, so that you can have an external ringer that you know that's not one of the phones, um, or you can have a paging mechanism that cuts music off or cut you know turns on a, a, a loudspeaker, does whatever needs to be done in order to page. Um, so that's what that 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 clicky relay is when when we when we invoke uh, anything that has the external speaker. So. And then feature 6.3 is a shortcut for, for both, and then it only prompts for a zone. Uh, so if I hit, you know, 2, I'm now paging 2 speaker, like that, like, like so. And if I program that to a button, that's what it looks like. Comma, speaker. Um, I've actually renamed mine here for 6.3.0 to page all. What it would normally say would be PG ALL, comma, SPK, I think. So... Oh, hold on. Someone's on Tinder. The only other interesting thing about paging is that if someone's paging and they go off hook or they go off hook and a page begins, every time they go back on hook, the page tone starts. Every time the phone starts listening, picking up the page, picking up the page, it, it, you know, it does that tone. So you could, you know, do that if you really wanted to, but, you know, just something you, you, you learn growing up in a high school with, you know, these phones, you know, the principal's making an announcement and the kids are just being, you know, like, fuck you, fuck you. So... <laughs> Just FYI. Another interesting thing is that if you're paging, someone can actually knock you off by calling you and then doing a priority call. If someone does a priority call to you, it, over it overrides the page completely. The page just ends and you, uh, you're you talking to them. We haven't gotten over priority call yet, um, but it's important to know that this is not what normally happens when you do a priority call to someone. Normally they have a chance to decline it or whatever, but in this case, with paging, it just knocks you off. So working in a retail store with these phones, you find out, you know, when your manager's sitting there making Oh my god, making announcements, you just uh, <clears throat> knocked them off with a priority call. So, that's paging. <laughs>